Welcome to the wild and perilous world of the semicolon. All right, so you think you know how to use this pretty basic punctuation mark? Then go ahead and write down a sentence that uses it. Also, there's another very rare use of a semicolon. Do you think you know that? If so, write down another sentence that includes that. All right, let's get going on this tutorial, beginning with what is the rule for the use of this punctuation mark. Okay, rather than come right out and tell you the rule, which would just be too easy, right? Here are three sentences that have a semicolon in it, in them. Based on them, what do you think the rule is for semicolons? All right, let me read them. In movies, a low angle shot implies power. A high angle shot implies fear. Okay, why is there a semicolon there? The teacher is in his office. He is reading papers. I will drive all night. However, I might need to rest for a little bit. Okay, again, take a look at these. Why are we using a semicolon in here? What can you observe when it comes to spacing, capitalization, that sort of thing? Okay, well, hopefully you've observed these things in those examples. A semicolon is used between two complete sentences. The big word for that is independent clauses. So there are two sentences that can stand on their own. And these are sentences that are not already joined by a word like and or but or nor for. Those are called coordinating conjunctions. So once again, two complete sentences. But the next part is important. These two sentences are closely related. That's why a semicolon is used rather than a period. All right, see how those principles are at work down here. Here's a complete sentence. In movies, a low angle shot implies power. Okay, that can stand on its own. So can this one over here. A high angle shot implies fear. But these two are so closely related that the writer is using a semicolon rather than a period to emphasize that close relationship. The same thing in the next sentence. The teacher is in his office. Complete sentence. He is reading papers. Complete sentence. That can stand on its own. But the writer is making a choice to use a semicolon rather than a period, although a period would be fine, a semicolon to really emphasize that these two independent clauses are closely related. Now this notion that the semicolon is used between two complete sentences that are closely related applies as we go down here. That often a word that shows relationship comes after the semicolon to connect the two parts. Here we have a complete sentence, I will drive all night. Here we have a complete sentence, I might need to rest for a little bit. The two are closely related. There is a relationship going on between these two. And this word, however, is establishing the relationship. I will drive all night. However, I might need to rest for a little bit. So as a way to connect this first part with this second part that are so closely related and that are connected with this word, with this conjunctive adverb, a semicolon is used. And these are words like however, therefore, moreover, nevertheless, all words that only exist as a way of connecting what came before with what comes afterwards. And so semicolons are really useful in that circumstance. Now, let me digress for a moment to make this important point that a semicolon is a good way to correct a run-on sentence or a comma splice. Now, I have a whole other tutorial that explains all of that in detail, but for now, the point is this. Here we have a complete sentence. The teacher is in his office. Here is another complete sentence. He is reading papers. And there is no connecting word like and stitching together these two parts. Instead, all we have is a comma, and that's not enough. You need a semicolon or a period, but you know, a semicolon is probably preferred there because these are so closely related and they're brief sentences. The same down here. The sun is beating down on us. 
complete sentence. It is blistering hot. Complete sentence. But you can't connect complete sentences with just a comma. And be especially careful with this word it. You need a connecting word like and, or you could put a period between those two, or this semicolon right here is a very, very good solution for two closely related independent clauses and the second one starts with the word it. Now a couple of words on spacing and capitalization. The first is there is no space before, let me go in a little bit here, as you'll see there is no space before but there is a space afterwards. And also notice while I'm right here about capitalization. This word is not capitalized. Take another look at a sentence we just used a moment ago. Right here about driving all night with however. Here is the semicolon. Notice the spacing. None there, one there, and no capitalization. So those are the uses of a semicolon to connect two closely related sentences. Now what about the misuses of the semicolon? Well, here are three common misuses. The first one, between a complete sentence and a phrase. Nope, you have to have a complete sentence and a complete sentence. Look at this example. I'm fascinated by spiders. Okay, that's a complete sentence, that works out. But what follows is not. A creature that frightens most people. No, that's not gonna work, that's only a phrase. Next one, America is a powerful nation. Okay, that works, that's a complete sentence. But this is a phrase starting with this word, troublesome word, although. Although it could use a little humility. That word, although, locks in the rest of that sentence in a dependent clause, so you can't use a semicolon. The second misuse is when a semicolon is used to introduce a list. For example, some animals come to my yard, semicolon, dogs, cats, deer, and foxes. Well, right here, this semicolon, the misuse is that it should be a colon and there's a separate tutorial on how to use a colon. So what's going on here is a complete sentence, that's good, but what is following here is not a complete sentence. They are examples, specifics, a list of what um, comes before. Uh, some animals is the general word and then we get the specifics. The proper punctuation is a colon, not a semicolon. And the final misuse of a semicolon is between complete sentences already connected by a word like and. Now essentially the semicolon is replacing one of these words. You don't want it in addition to that word. Look at this sentence. Five of you will go home, but one of you gets to stay behind. All right, in this case we have the semicolon and the word but. No, you don't want that. You want a comma and the word but comma and the word and, comma and the word or, not semicolon, which is essentially a period. Now that is how you use a semicolon in nearly all situations. But remember at the start of the, tu of the tutorial, I said there was one very rare use of the semicolon. So to make this point, write down this sentence. My favorite cities are Sonora, California, Cleveland, Ohio, Omaha, Nebraska. So take a moment to think how you want to punctuate that and do you see or feel any problems? This is likely what you wrote here. And if so, you might detect some confusion here. After all, what are you saying here? That my favorite cities are, well, here's the first one, Sonora and California, wonderful city. Cleveland, Ohio is fabulous city. Five, you want to know cities? Go to Nebraska. Number six, that is a city. No, 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 that's not what's going on here. We have items in a series, a city and a state, a city and a state, a city and a state, and within each of these items, 
they happen to have a comma. So it gets confusing to just add another comma, and that's why a semicolon is really useful to divide those items in a series which contain commas. And so here is the rule. Use a semicolon between items in a series containing internal punctuation. Here is an item in a series. Semicolon separates this item which has internal punctuation from this one that has internal punctuation from this one that has internal punctuation. Now this is a very different rule from what we had said before about semicolons which almost always separate complete sentences. That's not happening here. Cleveland, Ohio is not a complete sentence. Omaha, Nebraska is not a complete sentence. Okay, you get the distinction? One more example down here. The best basketball players are LeBron James, who plays for the Heat. Okay, that's the first item in a series. It has its own internal punctuation. Carmelo Anthony, a forward for the Knicks, semicolon. And Kyrie Irving, a point guard for the Cavaliers. Three items in a series. Each contains its own comma. Therefore, to avoid confusion by just tacking on more commas, we use a semicolon there. And that's it for this tutorial on semicolons. Just to recap, 99% of the time you want to use a semicolon to connect two closely related complete sentences. Now the writer could use a period, but the semicolon is there to help the reader understand that these two independent clauses are closely related. Now we also learned that a semicolon can help you with a run-on issue, a comma splice issue, especially with the word like it. Now we also learned that there is a very rare use of the semicolon, maybe 1% of the time, when you have items in a series and each of those items contains a comma. So if you were to use more commas to separate those items, it would get confusing. The semicolon is there to help with that confusion. We also learned about spacing, no space before the semicolon, space after, and also about capitalization, that you do not capitalize the word that follows a semicolon. Now we also learned about some misuses of the semicolon, like a complete sentence and then a phrase. No, you want a comma, not a semicolon or a list at the end of the sentence. No, you want a colon, not a semicolon. And then when you have the word and after a semicolon or the word but or 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 nor, no, those kinds of connecting words, you want just a comma there. Okay, so that's a lot of information, but good information for you to learn the semicolon. Hope this has helped you out. Bye-bye.